What's up everyone, welcome back, Patrick here, and moving on to the next example, we have to find the equation of the tangent for this function two minus x to the power three at this x value of negative two. So when they're asking for the equation of the tangent, we know that our final answer is gonna be in y equals mx plus b form. And so notice at some point, we're gonna to have to find the slope of the tangent for this function at this x value of negative two. And we could find the slope of the tangent using either one of these definitions. I'm actually gonna use both definitions in this video. So I'm gonna get that same slope using both definitions just to give you some extra practice in case you're using that alternative definition. We've already done a couple of examples where we used both of them. So it's gonna be the same in this video. Now. The slope is one thing we're gonna need. What else are we gonna need? Well, we're gonna need the full coordinate on this function. So notice they want this equation of the tangent at this x value of negative two, but notice we're also gonna need that y value. So then we could plug it in here along with the slope and then solve for that b value at the end. So if I plug in negative two into the function, what corresponding y value would I get? Well, I'll get two minus negative two to the power three is negative eight. And then we'll have two minus negative eight, which is like two plus eight, which gives us 10. So negative two and 10 is that full coordinate. So we got the coordinate, now let's find the slope. And again, I'm gonna find the slope in two ways. So using that first definition, we've got the limit as h approaches zero of f of a plus h minus f of a all over h. And notice the a value we're working with in this case is negative two. So if I rewrite that definition, according to this example, I'll have f of negative two plus h minus f of negative two all over h. So now we just got to work with this limit. Um, f of negative two plus h, you would take this expression, negative two plus h, plug it in for the x value. So we'll have two minus negative two plus h to the power of three. Okay, so this whole thing here is f of negative two plus h. And then minus f of negative two, well, we already know that that is 10. And this is gonna be all over h like that. And then uh, from here, what we gotta do is uh, expand this numerator and then simplify, see if we could cancel out this h in the denominator, because notice we can't plug in zero yet. We wanna get rid of this h in the denominator and then we could plug in zero for h. So we gotta expand this. This is gonna be a bit of a pain to expand. So we got negative two plus h to the power of three, so it's gonna be negative two plus h times negative two plus h times negative two plus h. So if you're going to FOIL all this, you'd have to FOIL these two brackets, uh, and then whatever bracket you have remaining there, you'd have to FOIL that bracket with that. There's gonna be a lot of terms, a lot of like terms to simplify. Uh, you could also use Pascal's triangle. So if you're not familiar with Pascal's triangle, you could FOIL it out if you are, then you can use that. That's actually what I'm gonna use. So we'll have one times negative two to the power of three, h to the power of zero plus uh, three, negative two to the power of two, h to the power of one, plus three, negative two to the power of one, and then h to the power of two. And then we'll have plus um, one times negative two to the power of zero, and then h to the power of three. All right, this is Pascal's triangle. If you're not familiar with it, don't worry about using this method just end up foiling out, but you should get the same answer that I'm gonna get after you simplify everything. So we would end up having negative eight over here. This would be um, four times three, so 12 H. This would be minus six H squared. And then this would just be plus H to the power of three. Uh, just let me make sure that it's all good. Yeah, it looks fine. So this here, is the simplified expression if you take negative two plus h to the power of three and expand it. Now remember that all has to go in brackets because we're subtracting that whole term. So minus eight plus 12 h minus six h squared plus h to the power of three minus 10. 
this minus 10 goes here. Let's erase all this. Uh, and then this is going to be all over h. And now what we do is we just simplify this. So we distribute the negative inside the bracket. So basically all of those uh, negatives or all the signs are going to switch. So we'll have 2 plus 8 minus 12h plus 6h squared minus h to the power of 3. And then the minus 10, that wasn't in the bracket, so that stays. And then this is going to be all over h. Um, negative yeah, it's all good. So now notice that 2 plus 8 is 10, minus 10, so those would net out to 0. And so what we'll end up having, limit as h approaches 0, and then if I write out the remaining terms, I'll have negative 12h plus 6h squared minus h to the power of 3, all over h, like that. And now notice we could factor out an h in the numerator because all of the terms have an h attached to them. So we'll have negative 12 plus 6h minus h squared all over h. Now the h's cancel out. And now we could plug in 0 for the remaining h's. So this would go to 0, this would go to 0, and we'd just be left with negative 12. So negative 12 is the slope of the tangent of this function at this x value of negative 2. And then from here, we can find the equation of the line. We have the slope, we have the point. But before we do that, I'm just going to use this second definition and make sure that we get that same slope of negative 12. So if I do use that, I'll have the limit as x approaches a, so the a value in this case is negative 2, then we'll have f of x minus f of negative 2 all over x minus a, which is negative 2. So if we work this limit here, f of x is what? 2 minus x to the power of 3. And then we're going to be subtracting f of negative 2, which is 10, all over x minus negative 2, which is like x plus 2, like that. So simplifying this, notice we can't plug in negative 2 yet because it would make the denominator 0. So we've got to try to get rid of this factor here. So let's simplify the numerator. We'll have 2 minus 10, which is negative 8. So we'd end up with negative x cubed minus 8 uh, in the numerator all over x plus 2. And then... Notice that we can factor out a negative in the, um, in the numerator, and we'd end up with x to the power of 3 plus 8. And this would be all over x plus 2 still. And notice x to the power of 3 plus 8, that's a sum of cubes. Remember, a sum of cubes is a to the power of 3 equals, or uh, a to the power of 3 plus b to the power of 3. That's equal to a plus b times a squared minus ab plus b squared. All right, that's the general formula. So this x to the power of 3 plus a, we could switch that to be x to the power of 3 plus 2 to the power of 3. So the a value would be x, the b value would be 2, and if we plug in those for uh, the rest of the formula, we'll have x plus 2, a squared, so x squared minus 2x plus 2. 2 squared, 4. So this x to the power of 3 plus 8 factors into that right there. Okay, so if I rewrite this limit, we got the limit as x approaches negative 2. Got the negative in front, and then this we factored into that. So we got x plus 2, x squared minus 2x plus 4, all over x plus 2. Uh, and now notice this and that cancel out. And now we could plug in negative 2 for all the remaining x values. So we got the negative in front. We'll have uh, negative 2 squared minus 2 times negative 2 plus 4. Notice this would be 4. Negative negative is positive, which would be 4. So 4 plus 4 plus 4 gives us 12 with the negative in front 
we end up getting negative 12, which is the exact same slope that we got when we used the first definition. So either definition should get that same slope of negative 12. Okay, and now to answer the final question, we got a slope of 12, we got a coordinate of negative 2 and 10, so we'll have y equals negative 12x plus b, right? y equals mx plus b. Now I got to solve for this b value, so let's plug in 10 for y, let's plug in negative 2 for x, and now we could solve for b. So we have 10 equals negative 12 times negative 2 gives us uh, 24 plus b. Bring the 24 over, 10 minus 24 would give us negative 14. And so y equals negative 12x or uh, negative 12x minus 14. That is the equation of the tangent for this function at that x value of negative 2.